Now everyone knows that the Toyota Tundra is the largest truck Toyota makes today, but they just refreshed it and it looks so much better than it used to. And today I'm gonna to be bringing you a review of the all new Toyota Tundra. My name's Aiden and you're watching God Next. Now, as for the exterior of the Toyota Tundra, of course, the last one was nearly 13 years old when it was discontinued, and this one was released, and this one looks so much better. I actually think it's the best-looking pickup truck on the market today. New LED headlights, larger front grille with these weird little meshes in them that look pretty cool. Big Toyota badge on the front with Tundra at the bottom of the grille. This one is the Platinum Edition, and you get this beautiful metallic paint on the outside. You get these all-terrain tires with these 20-inch carbon-colored rims. They look great. Platinum on this side insert right here that is black. Platinum right here is really cool. New mirrors with the, their body painted, and you have cameras on it for the surround view system in this truck. And overall, it just looks so much better than the last one did. I can't believe Toyota took this long to make a truck that looks this good. But you know what? I think it might have a chance to beat the F-150. Now on the back of the Toyota Tundra, you have a five and a half foot bed with an electronically lowering tailgate, but you have to put it up manually. Seven pin tow hitch down there. This can tow 11,050 pounds with its current configuration. And has a max payload capacity of 1,665 pounds. Back here, you also have a black exhaust pipe leads back to a 3.4 liter twin turbo V6. Let's hear what that sounds like. Now that we've talked about all the things on the outside, let's go check out the engine and see how much power this baby's making. Now, of course, we have to talk about the engine in the new Tundra because out the V8 goes and in the twin turbo V6 comes. They followed Ford's footsteps with this, but instead of having a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6, now you have a 3.4 liter. 389 horsepower, 479 pound-feet of torque, very healthy power numbers, a little less horsepower than the EcoBoost 3.5 liter from Ford, but overall, it's a great engine, super peppy and fun to drive. It made it to a 10-speed automatic transmission, gone as a six-speed, which is nice because this transmission is so much better, and yeah, overall, it's a really, really, really good powertrain for this truck. Now on the inside of the Toyota Tundra, of course, all new interior, digital gauge cluster, and a massive center screen that has a great base infotainment system on it from Toyota. It's super responsive and super easy to get to know how to use. Plus you have wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. Of course, massive upgrade from what it used to be. Dual zone climate control, heated and cooled seats, and plenty of other settings and tow features down here. Two wheel high, four wheel high, and four wheel low. Sadly, no four wheel automatic. And of course, you have some drive modes in here. You have sport, normal, and eco, just in case you care about using that. And you also have a tow haul mode, just in case you're going to be using that 11,050 pounds. But the inside of this is awesome. Awesome materials on the door panel, on the dash, on the seats are super comfortable, and the area in the center console. Plenty of storage as well. Wireless charger. You also have two cup holders right here. A storage area you can pull back to put anything you want in here. And if you want to lift up the entire thing, you can as well to reveal a USB Type A and a USB Type C port, some coin slots, and a bunch of other storage. Plus, you have more storage at the top of the center console right here, just in case you need to place any smaller items right there. Glove box is also a great size as well, but the F-150 does have more interior room than this truck does. Even the Ram 1500 has more interior storage than this truck does. Another USB Type A on the top and a panoramic moonroof up there that stretches all the way to the back seat. And the seating position of this is great, but the windshield is a little too slanted for me, so the visibility can be a little poor at times. Plus, these windows are super tinted. Uh, so it can make it a little hard, especially with such a dark interior. But overall, it's a great place to be, and I love that Toyota has taken the initiative to really push this truck to the next level. Now, as for safety features in this car, of course, you're going to have a surround view system that has a 360-degree camera, front, side, and back cameras. You have an adaptive cruise control system with lane centering assist and blind spot monitoring, of course, making it very, very easy for you to drive a truck of this size. Let's hop to the back seats and see what they got going on back there. 
Now on the back of the Toyota Tundra, it's great. You have these window shades right here, just in case you're carrying kids and need to keep this sun out of their eyes. Center armrest right here with two cup holders in it. Two cup holders right here, and they say the Americans like their big swigs and lots of drinks. Great back seat storage, great knee room, great headroom, heated and cooled seats, which is something you do not get in the F-150 or the Ram 1500. USB Type-A, USB Type-C, and a 120 volt socket. What more could you ask for? I think Toyota's nailed it on the head. Even even for their passengers. Toyota Tundra only starts at $39,000, which is a decent price. And with everything that you're getting in the new ones, I'd say it's a fair value. But what do you guys think about this compared to an F-150 against the Ram 1500? Because personally, I think this actually stands competition against those two trucks. And it's the first time Toyota has been able to do it in a very long time. And I'm very proud of something that they've created. Anyways, guys, if you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you wanna see more from us, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.